In a previous video, I talked about metadata and how important it is to organizing your content inside of a Final Cut Pro project and library. And in this video, I want to take that a little step further with talking about renaming clips. And to do this, I'm going to be mostly in the browser and the inspector. So I'm going to hide the timeline using this button or the control command to shortcut. And I have the inspector open, specifically the second one that's the information inspe inspector or info inspector. And what you'll see here is I have a bunch of pictures of Flash, the cat, and it just has the emotion listed as the title right now or the name of the clip. So with the happy flash selected, notice name is happy. And we get some other data, but all the way at the lower right corner, I can see we have a button here that says apply custom name. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. There's some really cool features in Final Cut, and this one is one of the ones that I see that's very underused. And there's a few presets available. So I can apply a custom name like clip date and time. We have a custom name with counter. Uh, original name with uh, from camera, scene, shot, take, angle. And here's what this does. Let me go ahead and click on this first one with clip, date, and time. And what you'll notice is it's no longer called happy. It's called 2018, uh, July 28th with the time because that's when this clip was created or that's what it sees from the file itself which may be very useful for you, but in my case, I, I don't like that name. It doesn't help me at all in this case. So I'm gonna do Command Z on the keyboard to undo that. What I actually wanna do is apply a custom name with a counter, uh, and I actually wanna use the original name, because I like the uh, original na name here uh, that's listed. So these presets don't really work for me, so I'm actually gonna create a new preset at the bottom. So we're gonna click on New, and Notice what we have here. On the left column are all the presets, and we have this new untitled one. And we see the format here for the name. And this is it's really cool. This is all the data that Final Cut sees and can use to batch rename clips. So I might want to use the original name or the current name. And in this case, the current name with happy, silly, hard eyes, all the names back here, I like that. So I'm going to use the current name, which it automatically put in there. And then I can see some other metadata here, which... Uh, I actually like the counter. Uh, the counter is kind of nice. So I'm going to add that up there. Uh, I could use angle, name, and again, all I'm doing is just clicking and dragging these up. Uh, these are, they call them naming tokens. Uh, you just drag a token up to the top here to add it to your name. And um, we're seeing what it's going to do. So this name one is what's going to happen. So it's going to call it, in this case, it would be happy one because we've added the counter name. If I put the original name up here at the end, you can see name one name is what it would do. Uh, in this case, I don't want that, so I'm going to delete that. Uh, we could also add things like date and time. All that information is pretty self-explanatory. Then we see the format information and the camera information. If you want a custom name, you would type in your custom name at the bottom here. So for example, it says clip info custom name. So at the beginning, let's do that. Let's add custom name. And we're going to call it Flash. And we'll add a space in uh, after this. So we're going to add space here. So it uh, does that. And um, that's pretty much it there. So we see the number of digits. There's I know there's only 10 here. We could go through here and say 2 if we wanted to. So now it's going to be 01, 02, 03 instead of just the numbers 1, 2, 3. And then I'll hit OK. And what hitting OK does is now at the bottom, when I have apply custom name, we see that untitled one. We can actually go here and say edit, and we'll edit the untitled one on the left here and rename it. Let's call it Flash, because it's specific to Flash. And then I'll select all of these clips together, apply custom name, Flash, and notice what it's done here. We now see Flash Happy 01, uh, flash Silly, Flash Hard Eyes, it's added that custom name to all of those clips. So this was a very goofy example because it's just these 10 clips here, but if you're used to shooting on a camera where the memory card names the clips and it's just file 001 or it's uh, like ING, IMG 001, 002, you have this weird named everything, that's great for the camera, that's how it organizes everything, but it's useless to you. 
I recommend going through and using this batch rename feature by doing the apply custom name and utilize that metadata because the metadata is there. So just rename all the clips. Maybe a date and time will be helpful for you with the camera name, or you can do like I did here where it's applying a custom name to the name that it already had to make it a little bit easier to identify what those clips are. Hopefully this tip was helpful for you. If it was, give this video a thumbs up. If there's something else you'd like to see or something that I missed in this video that you have still have a question about, leave that in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. Thanks, everyone.